Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm Dave. Alright, a few things just want to update. One is uh, the website, theminimachineshop.com. I've been working on it pretty hard since Saturday. Uh, uploaded a lot of links to where I bought a lot of things that you see in the shop. And I spent a lot of time, hey, plastic. I've spent a lot of time drafting up all the different things that I've built and put the plans up there, so go check it out. Um, as I come up with more stuff, I'll be putting it up and trying to pay more attention and focus on the website here lately. Two, <coughs> two mil upgrades. Uh, my wife finally found an inexpensive leather skirt from a thrift store, I think it was Salvation Army, size 10, big. <laughs> So, ripping it at the seams, it's beautiful, it's got nice edges because the seams were sewn over, so it's staying folded over. It's a lot thinner than the uh, other stuff, so it's really flexible, and I replaced the back piece and the front piece. So that's, that's one of the first upgrades, and I really like that a lot. Second one is I went to Rid Out Plastic, which is now E-Plastics. Went through their junk bin and for $4 got a 2 foot by 1 foot sheet of acrylic, black, can't see through it, cut it up. And the reason that I did this is, is twofold. Um, one is I saw in a YouTube video a guy on a big mill built a wood tray but it was big and it had sides on it. So it was his bench, it was a work table, he was building, I forgot what it was, but something right there, marking and measuring it. So uh, I was thinking, let me go back further, I'll make this nice and big, and one thing that it does is it's now covering the DRO completely on both sides. Because the DRO, I have a thin piece of flexible plastic, mylar or something, that just goes over it. And for some reason on the right side, all the time, chips are all over it and oil and cutting fluids and stuff. And because it's flexible, it's really hard to clean. So now this completely covers it. I like that. So I won't have that problem. And the other thing is the wood stains a lot. And so it looks ugly pretty fast. So the plastic should, should be able to clean it up. And so this whole thing should be nicer. I kind of like the looks of it. Nice mirror reflective plastic, but that's the two upgrades. Um, the other thing is I discovered, uh, do I have a collet? Yeah, let's get a 5C collet out here. Playing with the spin decks, doing some stuff, I discovered that the 5C collet, if you let the draw bar bring it in, because this angle is really kind of steep, it'll capture it crooked if you're just using the draw bar. The other ones, too, I was kind of playing with them once I discovered that, and yeah, don't let the draw bar do the seating on your collets. Always just kind of rotate it and snug it up and then hold it in there before you use the draw bar. Because it's, I was surprised on how many thousands of run out I got by just letting the draw bar do it. So that's just a heads up on that. Um, next piece, I guess, the next little video I shot a couple of days ago. It, just kind of some miscellaneous stuff. I brought the camera over to the bench to just show some different things. After that video, I'm going to show you an eBay find, which I think is just incredible. Um, so that's also going to be over on the bench, and there is a link on the website to this tool. And in the video, I said it looked like I got the last one I checked this morning, and they have more in stock, so it's back and it's up on eBay. Um, <clears throat> the 3 8 turning set that you see me use nowadays over the quarter inch Harbor Freight, so much more flexible. Um, to the new guy, I recommend getting that. You know, I didn't know what I was doing in the beginning. I didn't know all these links and other places to buy stuff, so I just bought the Harbor Freight quarter inch. 
But the 3 8 inch, and I have a link on the website, Anytime Tools on Amazon, you can find a lot of inserts for them. Uh, very flexible tool. I've got the inserts that came with the set. I had bought another set of TCMT 21.51s with chip breakers, and those are the ones I'm primarily using nowadays. And they seem to do a really nice turn. But the other day on Amazon, I did find um, a TCGX 21.51, which I'm expecting to be delivered today from Amazon. And it, um, it's specifically it's supposed to be polished, buffed, and everything, and specifically for use on aluminum. So when it gets here, I'll shoot turning and comparing the two and see if there's a difference of it. And then I'll post that also in this video. So, for now, here, let me show you the videos. I think everybody's seen this. Um, when we pulled out, woke up at 4 o'clock this morning, dozing back to sleep. I had a brilliant idea. Fell asleep, woke up, and couldn't remember what the idea was. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Finally, I remembered what I did was pull this apart, found a spring in the assortment, cut it in half, half in there, half in there. It doesn't twist anymore. I don't have to fight it. It's beautiful. You can just loosen it up, readjust this guy, whatever you want, tighten it back up. So that made this so nice and easy now. I don't have to fight the thing. Actually, I think, it, yeah, see, look at it. Even holds this in place because this used to swing all over the place. You'd pull this off and it all twists and you'd have to be pulling it apart. So, brilliant idea. Glad I remembered it. So, that's one thing. Another little project, everybody's seen the mini palette. I use these bigger guys and I decided to make some, just for the heck of it, some little skinnier ones in case a job comes up where I need that. Well, it worked out nice, and then I was used to using this long screw, and you'd spend an hour twisting it in, so I went and got some shorter screws. <laughs> Saves a lot of time, because look at that, man. it's like burp. So, cool. Just a little shop improvement here, and what's going on. And on this guy, they finally agreed to give a full refund if I turn off the Amazon attack. <laughs> I had called Amazon and said, I want to exercise the XYZ. You guys guarantee you to refund me. And so I guess they went after them at East Store. And they said, I'll give you a full refund. Just turn off the attack. You can keep them, throw them in the trash, do whatever you want. But, yeah, I think somebody said they've seen knockoffs. Even I looked at the package I showed and it says Mitsubishi and the part number. And I pulled the detail specs on that. You caliper this stuff and it does not mat match the specs at all. So I don't know what these are or what. How can you manufacture something that you say is a Mitsubishi and it isn't even close to the specs. So I just kind of give up for now. Somebody made a comment. They think it's the body. It could be the, in I think it's the inserts. But unless you want to spend a lot of money, I think um, this is not gonna work for me so I got a really nice paperweight here <laughs> which is I guess appropriate for a machine shop to use something like that but okay and the other day decided to play around with rivets everybody's probably seen this type pop rivets and I'm looking at the Kennedy tool chest and a bunch of things on how they put the latches on and go what is that how do they do that you know if they can find this stuff I can so I started researching, and these I think everybody's seen. They're kind of ugly when you pull them. There's the bought these a long time ago. I don't know where I got them, and I guess the tool's nice too. Swing lines. You use it a few times. It works really nice. Um, and I like buying stuff, or I'm glad I bought stuff a long time ago when the quality was up. Nothing was coming from China. The prices were cheap. Speaking of cheap, I had uh, just go off the subject for a minute. Yeah, this came off of Amazon. It's an ER32 uh, wrench, 37 millimeter. I figured, you know, I've got the spindex and stuff. 
might as well buy it. It was $24. I went and looked it up. Uh, the other day, it's now $43 for this wrench. Proto. So, just sidetracked a little bit there. But these, yeah, they leave that ball. It just pulls the ball in and squishes everything on and leaves it. Um, next time I do one, I want to experiment and see if you can knock the center out of it after you crimp the thing. But researching, there's pop rivets and there's split rivets, which are the head and just two prongs. And I've seen they have just like a chisel wedge that they hammer down and split them. And then you hammer the rest of them flat. So, but I finally did find what they're using, and it's called tubular rivets. This is off Amazon. It's not too expensive. What do I do with the tool? Oh, it's over there. So you can kind of see tubular rivets. And get one out. I get two of them out. But yeah, they're nice. Nice faces. These were 3 sixteenths by quarter inch, which is pretty much so very common. And then you buy the tool for a couple of dollars, prime, free shipping. And they have two types. This one just spreads them nice and round. And there's another one which has got this weird star pattern and crimps it. And I did do one just for grins and giggles to see how it works. Put it on top of a piece of a Teflon block, hammered it down. It takes a lot of whaling. I had a small ball peen and I went up to the bigger one wailing on it enough that it actually mushroomed the head just doing one. So I'm not sure how long this tool's gonna last. And some strange colors in it too. But it's kinda cool, smooth. I don't know if there's any other way of making one that would do this easier or they should have made, probably they should have made these walls thinner. Cause you don't need that much thickness, I don't think, to hold. But if you really whaled on this and crimped it in there, it's not coming out. You're going to have to drill it out. So, there's a little just to have in the shop. If I ever have a situation that comes up where I need that. I was also cleaning out some of the drawers because there's too much weight. I bought this a long time ago from Grizzly. Back when I was starting, you know, you're looking around going, Ooh, yeah, I need that. that that'll be cool. Um, all the new guys... Ask questions first before you buy, because everything is like eye candy, and you're going to buy it all, and then you'll never use it. But in any case, when I finally got some more stuff around to check things, this isn't square. It isn't even close to being square. I think this wall is tilted back. I forgot which way. But I probably, eh, yeah, that's why I didn't return it, because it was like a long time later. By the time I discovered that it was crooked, it's like, yeah, you can't return it now. It, I don't think they're going to take it back. But I never used it. So like I said, ask people. Ask me. Uh, leave a comment or email me privately. Um, if you're interested in getting something, do I think or somebody think it's worthwhile? And on my wife's car, I still haven't done the brake job on it. But these are factory. I usually like going with factory stuff. I mean, it's, it's pretty close to the same price as Napa or any place else. Um, but I love, she goes in for regular maintenance, they inspect the brakes and all this junk that I don't care whether they do it or not, I prefer they didn't mess with things, but they come back and tell my wife, gee, you're at four and a half millimeters, it's time for a new brake job, really, four and a half millimeters, huh? So she comes home, tells me this, shows me the report, these are ten millimeters, so I'm just under half life, and they're saying my brakes need to be desperately replaced, at just under half life? No. So some places are really conjoined, especially when it comes to women. It's sad, you know, that they think women are so stupid. Anything else I got here going on? No, not really. So, um, oh yeah, Don. And that digital microscope that plugs in the PC, I discovered you can use this. I want to just, next time my wife goes to the thrift store, just give me an old frame. Because this one I got to put back. I just want the glass out of it. But if you put this on top of something, or whatever it is, and then you put the microscope on top of it, it's perfect height, everything. That's how I took a picture of uh, one of these guys. I just stuck it down here, put the microscope on it, you move it around, it's all in focus, it's perfectly level, it's great. 
So this worked out nice. I like that microscope. Thanks, Don. I really appreciate it. Okay, nothing else going on, so I guess I'll go on with something else. Alright, not sure I'm going to wear a glove for this. This was uh, on eBay, and it came out of, I think it was Hong Kong, maybe it's China. I uh, forgot to read the description there. But this was $12. It comes with uh, threading bar and the insert and the screw, and it came in this bag which had this was in this bag and the insert was just floating around and the reason I don't want to touch this is because this has got some kind of perfume smell and you get it on your hands and it doesn't come off so I had to scrub my hand so actually I'm going to throw that in the outside trash can so the bar was inside of this which is really smelly and that was inside there but for twelve dollars you get a nice boring bar with the insert and so I'll have three corners so I put a link up on the website to it I'm not sure if I got the last one or not because I just looked at it to put the link up and it says zero available but go see maybe it'll come back or something they actually reduced the price on it it's uh, nine dollars or ten or something like that but I paid twelve dollars and twenty eight cents in free shipping and like I said it came here pretty quick it was less than a week so just wanted to share that. Alright, trying to do this without light, hopefully. Well, let me turn the overhead light on. Might help. Yeah, I think that helped a little bit. Alright, just a half inch piece of aluminum. This is the um, inserts that I bought. It's not the set, the inserts that came with the 3 8 um, It just says toolinghouse.com. TCMT 21.51 CMC5 carbide, so 10 pieces. Uh, no real name on them as to who made them. So, alright, let's try this with these inserts. Hey, why is that way crooked? Put that in a little bit more. Is that better? Yeah, much better. Alright, bring that in. Alright, so I think everybody's seen the turn of this stuff, but I mean, they get a pretty nice finish here. Look at that. Pretty good finish on that. Looks like it's kind of glary in the camera. Try it with the light. Different angles. See what you can see. Yeah, that looks like a better angle. Alright, so let me change the insert out to the new ones here. Alright, there it is with the new insert in it. They came, here they are. Cobra Carbide. TCGX 21.51 C5. Carbide, and they are indeed shiny. I mean, they're like chrome. <laughs> so I don't know if this is on height, but let's uh, try it and see what happens here, guys. Whoa. Oh yeah, way nicer finish. Holy cow! Look at that. Oi. Uh, it doesn't get better than that, guys. Holy cow. Alright, well, uh, I'm convinced. <laughs> Jeez, can I zoom in any further here? Stay in focus? No, it's not going to stay in focus. Even if I put my hand back there. That is just an insane finish. Jeez and peace. Alright, well, uh, there is a difference in what insert you use and what happens, so... I'm going to be using this from now on. I wish I could just get the 3 8 AR only 
because I'd want to have one with this insert, the other insert, and a regular insert. So, alright, so let me upload this boy. Wow.